Fluttershy caressed her newborn child in her arms and cradled her with all the love she could possibly give. It had been three days since she was born, and the new mother could not be happier with her little bundle of joy. Unlike most mares, she didn't go into a postpartum depression, because she was just too gosh darn happy with her little cute, whittle biddle, cutie, beanie, baby bundle of joy. All to snuggle, wuggle, <clears throat> <laughs> Fluttershy was about to fall asleep with the baby when a knock at the door jolted her up and she held the baby closer as she went towards the door. Goodness, I can only think of one pony who would... Oh, Rainbow Dash, hello. Hey, Fluttershy. Just wanted to see how your little Medusa is doing. It's Hestia. Uh, oh, right, right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hey there, little one. I'm your Auntie Dash. Wait, that sounds weird. I guess Aunt Rainbow Dash will do. <laughs> I just, um, want to say, uh, uh, no hard feelings about you kicking me in the face when you were still in your mom's belly. Want a truce? What the hell did I say? Jeez, talk about taking after your mother. <laughs> Sometimes I think she takes after her father. Anyway, I should have warned you that she doesn't like being woken up from her naps. Eh, sounds fair. Naps are awesome, but not as awesome as me, and we- Shh, shush. It's alright, sweetie. It's okay. Mama's right here. No. <clears throat> as soon as the little one heard her mother's soothing voice, her cries faded, and she looked up at Fluttershy, who gently rocked her back and forth, before Hestia fell asleep within a few minutes. Once Hestia was back asleep, Fluttershy looked over to her rainbow maned friend, who was now on the ground, twitching and foaming in the mouth. Oh my gosh, Rainbow Dash, Rainbow Dash, are you alright? I'm, I'm okay, just, just a bit of a cute, cuteness diabetes! <coughs> rainbow Dash, please, I don't want Hestia to wake up again from the noises you're making. <sighs> alright, alright, sorry. Seriously though, Fluttershy, that baby is just so adorable, even though I can only see her with one eye. Your eye's looking much better to me. Nah, this is a glass eye, a fake. They had to remove the one that Pinky whipped. Oh no, I'm so sorry. You're not the only one. Pinky has sent me hundreds of apology letters and an apology telegram. She wasn't making that up, everypony. Pinkie Pie came to Rainbow Dash's cloud home in a hot air balloon with smaller party balloons, a miniature party cannon, while having her mane slowly deflating as she sung her apology song. This is your apology telegram, I hope that you are well. I'm sorry that I whipped you and I that made your eyes swell. Your injuries because of me and that's not really great. I made you this so you will not get me back because I- Pinky, I already told you that I forgive you! But Dash, you only have partial vision because of me. I'm really, 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 really sorry. And I told you that I forgive you. I know you're sorry. I get it, and I forgive you. Oh, leave me alone, Pinky. Well, okay. As Pinkie Pie began to put her things back in order inside the hot air balloon, she accidentally knocked over her miniature party cannon, which went off, blowing a hole of multicolored flaming streamers into the balloon, making it explode. Before the balloon dropped, Rainbow Dash grabbed a hold of the pink mare by her forelegs, a close call indeed. Oh, just let me drop to my death, Dashy! That won't be even! Don't talk like that, Pinky! How would that make us even? Besides, I already told you that we're even! We're cool, right? So quit acting like- But we're not cool, Dashy! I had to pay you back by getting hurt so we can be even! Why can't you just understand that? Huh, well, I guess if it's what you really want. No, 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 no! Stop, come on! Stop, stop, stop! Why do you stop? I told you to drop me! Seriously? You want me to drop you, then you tell me to stop, and then you ask me why I stopped? Well, duh! I said stop! You were gonna drop me! Well, then make up your mind! What do you want me to do? Drop me. Ugh. How many times am I gonna have to do this today? No, 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 no! no. Stop! Come on, stop! Pinky! Uh, I'm sorry, Dashy! Oh my sweet Princess Celestia! Before Pinkie Pie could finish, Rainbow Dash let her go. The pink mare screamed as gravity did its job by pulling her down towards the earth. Rainbow Dash wanted to save her, but she knew that Pinkie wouldn't leave her alone if she did. So she let Pinkie drop to the ground where a thud was heard, and Rainbow Dash cringed at the sound. 
She flew down to see what remained of her friend, who landed in a pile of manure, however she was knocked out cold from the fall. Rainbow Dash was stunned but quickly shook it off and checked to see if there was any pony who saw what happened. Phew. No pony saw anything, and figuring that out, Rainbow Dash slowly backed away from the pile and then zoomed back to her cloud house, leaving a rainbow trail behind her. Oh my, I hope she's alright. Oh yeah, she's fine. That's not the reason I came here. Yes, yes. You said that you wanted to see how Hestia was doing. Well, now I've changed my mind. I'm going to help you lose that baby fat. I mean, just look at you. Your stomach is all swollen. Rainbow Dash, that won't really be necessary. I mean I- Yes it is! Swimsuit season is coming up, Fluttershy. You've got to stay in shape. Wait, wait, wait! Who will look after her- Got it covered, right? Yup. Oh, oh, geez, she could have at least taken a bath in the lake or something before she came back. <laughs> Don't worry, Fluttershy. I'll take care of her. If she starts crying, I'll just give her some sugar. Sugar fixes everything. Pinky, that's not true. <gasps> Come on, Fluttershy. I haven't got all day. But, but, but... <sighs> all right, now the workout begins. I want to see some push-ups. I want to see you eat that dirt! Eat it! I... I think I swallowed too much! Take a salt tablet! Next, lift that barbell! As time went by, Fluttershy continued to work out with her coach Rainbow Dash. Back to her push-up as Rainbow Dash laid on top of Fluttershy's back, reading the sports section. Hmm, Yankees are looking good! As more time passed by, the sun began to set and Fluttershy was now running through the forest with Rainbow Dash still on her back. So... tired... <sighs> that is why you fail! Rainbow Dash, please, can we take a break? You don't deserve a break, fatty! That's right, piggy! Now get up and swallow some more dirt! That's your slop, big fat! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Fluttershy! I just, I thought that humiliating you would make you more determined to lose that baby fat. But hey, that's just my logic at work. Uh, okay, okay, um, let's call it a day. Good, good job. Well, after that motivating workout, Fluttershy wiped away her tears, dusted herself off and went back to the cottage. Rainbow Dash finally getting off of Fluttershy's back in more ways than one, slowly flew home as well. So, Fluttershy! What do you say for tomorrow's workout? We could do some light flying around, you know? I find stretching my wings always calms my nerve and relaxes me. Uh, you're not gonna come tomorrow, are you? Well, uh, friends? Uh, I'm just gonna slip this workout regimen under your door. And here's that salt tablet. These things will help you with anything, okay Fluttershy? Huh. Anyway, Fluttershy's mane was still covered in sweat, twigs, and mud from Rainbow Dash's workout. Hearing the sounds of Hestia crying, she rushed back into the kitchen. <gasps> Inside the kitchen was pure chaos! Things were levitating and spinning around in the air. The curtains were on fire with green flames and Hestia in the middle of it all, crying. Now where have we seen this before? Fluttershy! <gasps> oh my goodness! I thought gingerbread men cookies were supposed to have smiles, not scary frowns, and... <gasps> Using cookie cutters as deadly weapons? What's going on? Oh no! She's been crying like this for hours! I tried my famous flower trick, but nothing! Then I tried making silly faces, not even one smile! Either Hestia needs a better sense of humor, or she's crazy! Ah! Don't worry, Pinky! Fluttershy dodged a flying toaster, then swept all the gingerbread men into her saddlebag. She quickly put the saddlebag into a cabinet and ducked for cover when Hestia let out a sonic wail that made the cabinet explode into splinters with a loud boom. The pink and yellow mares were forced to hide under the table as shards of metal from the cookie cutters rained down from the sky. Hey, wasn't your wallet in your saddlebag? <laughs> Fluttershy, I'm home. I hope you made dinner because I'm... Wow! Since when could she do that? Yeah, you might want to check your bedroom. The married couple quickly took Pinkie Pie's advice and ran down the hall to their room. Heat from the flames radiated over them, and they saw the full capacity of the situation. <sighs> 
The whole room was burning in a yellow-green fire. Thank goodness. I'll get the fire in the kitchen. You get the one in the bedroom. Fluttershy quickly went outside and gathered the watering hose that was left out. She then flew inside as fast as her wings could carry her aloft and doused the flames in the house, spraying water at everything and everywhere. The curtains, cabinets, furniture were ruined, but at least the windows and floors were cleaned. Meanwhile, Discord finished filling a large bucket of water and carried it to the bedroom and was thrown at the flames. Hestia began wailing louder, as there were still flames around her. What are you going to do, Fluttershy? With her motherly instinct, Fluttershy moved closer and closer to her baby, sniffing the air suspiciously. Suddenly her nose wrinkled at the smell and looked at Hestia, who was still crying. Uh-oh, some pony has made a stinky winky. Let's fix that. Well, what do you know? <laughs> After that discovery, the cottage no longer on fire and all the chaos began to settle down, then stop. Um, Pinky, you wouldn't happen to have any- Right here! Ah. <sighs> And with that, Fluttershy using her now naturally mother instinct and parenting classes, she calmly removed the diaper, sprinkled the talcum powder on Hestia's whittle bottom, taking out a fresh diaper and putting on Hestia. Fluttershy tossed the dirty diaper away. Thankfully, it landed beside Pinkie Pie. Oh dear, Luna and Celestia! It's like a mix of old cheese and garbage! No, no, Pinkie. It's just her poop. Uh, sure, Fluttershy! I guess friendship isn't the only magical thing around here. Sweetie. Yes, my dear Fluttershy. Your hair's still on fire. Really? Now? Oh, well, would you look at that. Ah, much better. <laughs>